Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a Bath and Body Works SAS slash spring walkthrough. So I'm about to go in the store. I don't really need much from SAS, but if they have some more hand soaps, I'll pick some up. I really just want to like see what they have left, honestly, because I haven't been in since last week and I just want to see what they have in there. If they have any new spring stuff, I will be sure to show you guys because that would be really exciting. Um, I don't plan on buying much, but like I said, if I find a good deal, maybe we will. So um yeah that's about it so let's go ahead and walk on in all right so we are heading on into the store it was a cold and dreary day um starting off with the candles that were on sale i saw quite a few berry waffle cones some peppermint marshmallows and peppermint hot chocolates which both of those are actually some of my favorite winter scents i did find this is actually a new candle holder it was not um on sale but i did find that one and then I did find the little fox soap holder. There were a lot more in my store. And then some pan, not pandas, <laughs> polar bears. Some more candles, the love, hope, and joy ones. Um, they had surprisingly a lot of them at my store. I, I wasn't expecting that. Some more 75% um, off. We had all of those spray hand sanitizers. They must not be popular at all because they always have them on the 75% off sale. Uh, tons of room sprays from winter. I did find a few fall single wicks, old-fashioned cider donut. Those would be, I think, around 3 or $4, 75% off, so pretty good. Uh, crushed candy cane, of course, the uh, vanilla bean Noel, and um, some more single wicks. They had even um, the Halloween one, Wicked Apple. I almost got that one. I swear I almost did. And I'm trying to reach down and see what else is here. We have Mary Cookie. Um, I think also down there, um, there's the spice cranberry toffee considered getting that one too ice cranberry scone which i think is on sale it doesn't have a lid on it though and then lavender and cedarwood oh and then also another fall one back there vanilla pumpkin marshmallow some more 75 percent off they had so many hand sanitizers if you are still looking if you don't care about like seasonal hand sanitizers they have so many for um 75 off so that i believe makes them like 90 cents um, they did have some pocket back holders. They still had some fall ones too. I honestly think like pumpkin cupcake and stuff like that you could use year round. Twisted peppermint is literally just like a minty scent. So there's definitely some good ones in there if you want to go pick up some hand sanitizers. They had the spider pocket back holder, which of course never sold. Um, $5.95, 75% off. So that's good. Some more um, room sprays. And tons, and I mean tons, of wallflowers. They had a tree farm single wick up at the top too. But tons of wallflower refills for 75% off, which takes them down to like $2 a piece, I think. 50% um, 50, 50 off, uh, like, what is that called? You know, packages. <laughs> I can't think of it. Gifts. Yeah, there we go. Like the gift packs. And um, this says 50% off, but they were actually 75% off um, all these holders. They had tons of those bat soap holders left over from Halloween. Um, now we're getting into the body care side. So they had this whole um, section for $4.95, all of this uh, one collection, and then of course the faceted as well. So um, A Thousand Christmas Wishes is in there, Winterberry Wonder is in there, even um, Magic in the Air, and Pink Velvet Cupcake as well. So tons of scents that were $4.95 over here, so that was a good deal especially if you like this um, pad packaging style and all those scents in there. They also had the um, Joy, Love, Hope, Peace collection. Mostly all they had left of this was lotions, body lotions. Um, some 50% off, which I believe has already gone down to like $7.95. By the way, this video was filmed earlier in the week. Um, some more 75% off stuff, fresh water for men, more uh, wallflower refills, the shampoo and conditioner minis, was surprised to see those on 75% off. Um, some fall stuff left over, um, marshmallow pumpkin latte, the pumpkin pecan waffles, literally so much vanilla bean noel, nobody bought that this year, which I'm not surprised because they've changed the formulation like five times. Two uh, Christmas cookie lotions back there some minis they had some berry waffle cones left over still um i actually see a berry waffle cone hand lotion i should have picked that up i think i assumed it was hot cocoa and cream dang i am kind of sad i didn't now um but all the lip glosses too those are really cute 
and then uh, for more four ninety five this like summer happy vibes and summertime surf um, collection. So if you are somebody who loves the summer fragrances, get them now for a good deal because they're just going to come out with the spring and summer scents soon anyways, and they'll be full price. So get them now while you can. Like also pink watermelon, stock up for summer now because you're not going to want to pay full price. So now we're going to get into all the new stuff. There was this huge uh, collection of new candles. Okay, something about Pink Apple Punch, they think that we want it in every single scent. We don't. <laughs> um, Wild Berry Jam Donut is back. I believe it is the same scent notes. And this, these candles are all $26.50. We've got some new hand soaps. Cool Cucumber Mist, which you can pause for the notes. I can't read it that fast. Um, but lots of new soaps. They did use this same packaging last year, so not surprised on that. But... Um, new hand soap packaging, Blueberry Bellini. That one smelled really good. I did smell that one. Uh, I used that at the sink to wash my hands with before I left. Uh, iced Coconut Milk. They've also got this collection, Coconut Lime Verbenas back. I know that's a classic. A lot of people love that one. Uh, we've got Banana Bunt Cake again. And guess what, guys? Blueberry Pie is back. I believe it's the same scent notes. And those are $24.50. So, um, those are still at that lower price instead of these ones right in front of us that are $26.50. So that's surprising. We've got some pineapple mango, vanilla coconut, nothing surprising there. Those are all old scents. This peach bellini is literally neon orange. <laughs> and uh, watermelon lemonade back again, of course. And we do have, oh, I'm trying to read the pink. Okay, pineapple passion fruit, sorry. Coastal watermelon hand soap. And then there was this random blue one back here, and that is Kiwi Passion Fruit. I love that color on the packaging. Gorgeous. And then we have the color collection. I don't know what to call that, but it's like the White Barn Colorful Candle Collection. Again, Pink Apple Punch. Why? Uh, and Bubbly Rosé, if you guys were excited that that one's coming back. And they do have these single wicks that are similar to the packaging on the other side. That was Watermelon Lemonade, Pink Apple Punch. This is a different one. Uh, Sunshine and Daffodils. We've got the new pocket backs, raspberry tangerine. These are all like the same kind of collection. This cute, that was really cute. The little watermelon lemonade. I think that was adorable. Uh, Coastal watermelon, I believe, is a repackage that's been that's been here before. And strawberry kiwi. I think it, that packaging is so adorable. That's going to be a good one for spring and summer. And then this is a new scent, orange pineapple punch. At least new to me. And these candles are all $26.50. That's why I was really looking at the bottoms of most of these candles. I'm trying to get a gauge on what the price is. Um, Lemon Zest is one of those other candles up there. Deep Blue Sea and Rainforest. What is this? Rainforest Gardenia. Some more single wicks. Um, I did find Sprinkled Birthday Cake. I've been hearing about this online for a while. Um, it actually did smell really good. I put it down right here to smell it, but it was $26.50. And I'm also giving you guys a good look at the new single wick packaging. If you can't tell, the label's just a little bit larger. It looks a little more um, sophisticated, I guess. Again, with the pink apple punch, guys. What is up with that? <laughs> um, some more of those. Nothing new here. This one, however, is new. This is Champagne Margarita. You guys, I'm going to pick this one up. It smelled so good. You really got that, like... Um, lime zest or like lime oh my god it was so nice that one's going to be amazing for summertime I can just imagine it right now and honestly the packaging is beautiful I love that blue color uh, black cherry merlot midnight blue citrus and vanilla bean nothing new here but they do have new single wicks um, they brought mahogany vanilla out in a single wick super excited about that um, because that one was a hit this winter and then we do have Paris Cafe right there. It's only in that one candle. I did not see it anywhere else, but they do have it out again. And then we've already seen this collection, but there's like the Pineapple Mango. Um, I think Peach Bellini is one of them. Watermelon Lemonade and Eucalyptus Mint. This is a new collection. I really love this packaging. And if you notice, I'm trying to show you on the front here, they show the scent notes on the front of the package. So that's really smart, I think. I was smelling this one. I have it in a single wick actually already. It smells really good. And these are all $26.50. So I think that they think that this packaging is like a step up. So that's why it needs more. It costs more money. I don't know. Um, but they did bring out cinnamon spice vanilla in this one too. Uh, scent notes for you. It hasn't changed. I just wanted to sniff it because I like that scent. 
But yep, they have that one. And then they also have the Dark Amber and Oud. This one is Kimball's favorite scent right now. It actually is a beautiful manly scent. So I definitely recommend that if you're into those masculine type scents. And then we did have this new candle holder, this like beautiful flower vine. It is $24.50. Really, really pretty. It's gold. Some more new candles. We have Eucalyptus Rain and, oh my gosh, sorry. I'm kind of like moving a lot. Sunwash Citrus. Uh, Sweetberry Peony is a new one. I tried to smell it, but honestly, you guys, it was very floral, not my vibe. Um, and then the other ones in this are Sunshine and Daffodils, Lavender Vetiver, and Eucalyptus Spearmint. Nothing new there. Um, we have this like beachy collection, Fiji White Sands. Um, Vanilla and Peach Tea is back this year. Super excited about that. That one is $26.50. And Sea Salt and Balsam. Also Deep Blue Sea. I was checking the price on this one as well, $26.50. Two, so I think most of the new candles are going to be $26.50. Um, this is all the same line. And then we do get into um, over here some single wicks, and those are brand new. So down here we've got um, pineapple mango, pink lilac and vanilla, mahogany coconut. I'm trying to read those other two, but I can't. <laughs> Fiji White Sands. And then I did find Pear Creme Boulet. I did smell that one. It smelled pretty good. These are all $15.50, by the way. So that is a $1 price hike. And then Let Love Glow for Valentine's Day. I found this beautiful marble, um, what is this, wallflower refill for $12.50. I'm going to use a coupon on that one because, oh my God, it's gorgeous. And it definitely goes with my like decoration theme. Um, if you guys don't know, I am moving out soon, so I'm going to have to buy some new uh, wallflower refills. I'm going to leave the ones I have for my parents to use because my mom actually start, has started to really like them, but um, I'm going to have to pick up some new ones. So I did find the champagne bottle. Oh my God, you guys, it's actually gorgeous. So beautiful in person. Okay, now we're moving on to some new hand sanitizers. I did find the um, Gingham Love scent, Japanese cherry balsam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we have pineapple coconut. I can't even read that fast enough. Watermelon lemonade. These are all the new ones. I'm really just looking for the new, new. Oh, here's a Valentine's Day BU Bubbly Rosé. That one probably smells really good. A peach Prosecco Macaron and a rose water and ivy. So I like that packaging on those. Very pretty. And then again, raspberry tangerine. We've already seen that one. Around the back, they did have a slate one now for men. So... That's nice. And this one's so pretty. Feel and loved vanilla cloud. I wonder how that smells. I was looking if they had scent notes, but they did not on here. So it is very beautiful though. And then we have gingham love in the pocket back as well. And look at these gorgeous little uh, pocket back holders. Gold, rose gold, blue, and like a white sparkly. So really pretty. And then we're on the hand soap wall. I did find some new ones. We've got love you cherry much, which is cherry frost. And I do have all these. I posted these actually earlier this week on Instagram. So go follow me at Hyatt's Vicky also on Instagram um, because I do post whenever I go in stores. I post all the new stuff I find, but this packaging is so cute. I love when they do this every year. I know it's like a little childish, but I honestly love it. And that just brings joy to me when I see it in my bathroom. So I don't care that it's childish. I think it's adorable. But yes, we have uh, Once Upon a Lime, You Cake My Breath Away, Fresh as a Daisy, I don't think any of these are like brand new scents, but we had those. And then this is like the Valentine's collection. Champagne toast again, of course, and strawberry pound cake. I really think that this packaging is like very elegant. This would be a really nice like um, housewarming gift if you were to give it to somebody like a neighbor that just moved in or something. Um, they do have some new aromatherapy soaps, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's the first time they've ever had aromatherapy soap. So that's pretty cool. I thought that packaging was really gorgeous on this raspberry tangerine soap, but it is the gentle gel. I know a lot of people don't like that uh, formula. They do have um, these new ones. I don't even know what that's called, but they look really nice. Um, we have some new scents here, Sun Wash Citrus, and this one is Wildflower and Rose. So I think those are really beautiful and sophisticated. And then we have one last new soap collection right here. kind of goes along with the gentle gel one. So that's everything, you guys. Let's move into the haul. Okay guys, so we are back from the store and I do have my bag of everything that I picked up. Let's go ahead and go through it. I didn't pick up that much, but I did pick up quite a few things. I actually didn't get any of the hand soaps because they weren't on that great of a sale. My, um, all the tables on my store for soaps were only 50% off. Maybe that was just mislabeled. Like maybe there actually were 
what is it, 395, 350 hand soaps. And I just didn't know, um, but I didn't pick up any hand soaps. So I'm gonna take out everything that I got and show you guys. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the biggest thing I got because I really wasn't supposed to get this, but it was on a good deal and it was um, $11.95 and I picked up a cotton candy champagne candle. Um, I know these have been like overstocked at everyone's stores, but honestly, I really like this scent, especially in the body care, but I feel like this is gonna be a really good scent for spring. Um, the scent notes are bubbly rose sweet, sweet strawberry and pink sugar. It's literally like champagne toast with a little bit more sugar. It's a really, really good scent. And I feel like this love can still apply for um, Valentine's Day. So I'll just keep it out for then. And I, I really like the scent. I feel like it's gonna be a really good performer. I've heard good things. So I did go ahead and pick that up. I did not plan on getting any uh, candles, but I did. Um, I did pick up one room spray in winter. This was 212. I haven't really planned on getting a room spray, but I am actually moving out of my parents' house soon in the next month or so. And I wanted to pick up a few things to like stock up if I wanted them. So this is really just like a, um, a room freshener for the bathroom. So I did go ahead and pick this up. They had like a mahogany something one that I was trying to get, but it was all sold out at my store. So winter was the next best thing. So I just wanted something like very fresh scent scented instead of like gourmand so that I could spray this in the bathroom if I needed to. Um, and then I did pick up quite a few uh, wallflower fragrance refills. So the first one is Honey Crisp Apple. This, these are all $1.80, I believe, let me see. $1.87, so they were all 75% off. So I picked up a few fruity ones. So this is the first one. And then I also got Sunwash Citrus. I feel like this is a good one either for a bathroom or for like the kitchen. I also picked up blackberries and basil. This is just a really good scent. I just really enjoy it. It's nice and bubbly. And then I picked up a few for like summertime, hopefully. The first one is mahogany coconut. This one actually reminds me of mahogany teakwood, but like a little bit less masculine and a little more like soft. So actually excited about this one. I might do this one like in the bedroom or something. And then Waikiki Beach Coconut, just figured would be really good for like summertime uh, or like the end of spring. So picked up that one as well. And then one thing I didn't expect to get, but I have been needing is a little pocket back holder. This was $1.50, not on sale or anything, but it's $1.50. It's literally super cheap, but I really, um, I've been like switching between purses lately and I have like this brown one right here that I wear and then this black one right there that I also wear. So like I've been switching between them and I only have one pocket back holder. So I got a second one so I can leave it on my purse um, and pink, pink glitter. So I have a black one right now and then I'll put this pink glitter one on the other bag. So that way I can just have two going at the same time. I don't have to keep swapping them. Very convenient. So that's everything I picked up for the haul though. Not a lot of stuff, still proud of myself for showing restraint. Um, I did get like a lot of wallflowers, which is good because they are, I think upping the price on wallflower refills. Um, they're $7.50 right now, but I think they're upping the price to $8.50. And then they're also gonna be more expensive on like the buy three, get them for whatever deal. So yeah, they are upping the price on those. I really only buy wallflower refills at SAS to get me through until the next SAS. So all the ones that I bought in the last haul and this haul um, will last me until summer. So. That's really good. <laughs> but that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.